Okay. So the topic of today is the method and strategies of quitting smoking. So quit smoking advice from former smoker. We want to be talking about how you can quit smoking. So in a nutshell, I don't want this video to be too long. If you are, if you are, if you are just joining this uh, channel, make sure you click the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, like my video, give us a thumb up so that whenever we create a video, you'll we'll be able to get notification. Today, I'm going to be showing you the strategies which you can use to quit smoking. All right? strategy which you can use to quit smoking and uh, when we talk about uh, smoking you know a lot of people it has become a psychological and a physical habits because it's not uh, it's not something that you you cannot do without it's not a compulsory item Cigarette is not a compulsory item. It's not something that you can you cannot do without, even because you have been addicted to it. And this is why uh, some smokers are finding it very difficult to quit smoking, just like alcohol. If you are not drinking alcohol before, so even if you go to any gathering, you go to any event and be serving with alcohol, you just tell them that no, you don't do alcohol. You do soft drinks. You do juice or what or any other one but if you are a confirmed alcohol drinker so there is no harm even if they don't offer you 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 request for it and the same thing applicable when it comes to smoking so there are a lot of things that make people to crave for smoking which you call uh, smoking craves and makes you to desire it, that makes you to demand for it, that makes you to always want to find yourself in a place where you get this light up a cigarette and start smoking. So, one addiction. So, some people are addicted to it, some start smoking because their friends are smoking. And uh, before we move further, I would like to show you. And also, do you know that the smoking causes lung cancer? Yes, smoking causes lung cancer. So there are a lot of uh, health challenges associated with smoking. So I'm going to be showing you. And you can see a lot of uh, tobacco company, they put it in their smoking their secret packet that smoking causes lung cancer so there's one packet of a you can see me now let me see okay let me continue because of the board that i'm using so well, I'd love to show you that smoking causes lung cancer. It's boldly written in a cigarette packet that smoking causes lung cancer. But a lot of people, they will not even look into those things. They are only to smoke. So I don't, I don't care whether it causes any lung cancer, whether it causes damages to their hearts, whether it causes any problem. So, what they want to achieve at that moment is that satisfaction that they want to derive. So, and that's just it. No any other benefits that you can get from smoking. So, the only benefit you get is that, that it is that craving, it is that temptation, it is that addiction. Just want to... You know, some people attach that uh, okay they get into smoking whenever they are not when they are in depression or when they are not feeling happy 
or when they have something disturbing them in their mind and so on and so forth. But in a normal way, smoking when you are down is not the solution to the problem. It's not the solution to the problem because you are even creating another problem for yourself. You are specifically creating another problem for yourself. So because I'll be showing you the health problem associated with smoking now. So let's quickly go into Google and let me show you the lungs of a smoker and that of a non-smoker. You can see this is the lung of a non-smoker. Why this is the lung of a smoker? You can see you are burning your lung. So you are causing problem to your heart. You can see. You can see by yourself. You can see the lung of a non-smoker. This is the lung of people who are not smoking. Why this is the lung of people who are smoking? So, I don't know if I can put it in my, my dashboard here. Let me see. If I can just paste it. Okay. Let me go back and save it. Save image. Okay. Let me quickly, sorry. Let me quickly go back to where I can. Let me upload it and for you to see. I want to quickly upload it and show it to you. I want you to see the picture. I want you to see the clear picture of how the lungs of a non-smoker look like. So let me see if you can, if, okay, wow, this is it. Can you see it? This is the lung of a person who is not smoking and this is the lung of a smoker. Am I still on? Yes, okay. You can see the difference. This one is, is destroying no love secret smokers lungs. This one is you can see that the smoke, the secret is destroying your lungs. You can see this the secret is damaging your lungs. So for how long will you continue to damage your lungs? Or you are waiting until the lungs is completely damaged. Or you develop a heart problem, or you develop head complications. So, some of all these things is what you need to look into. So, you look into the health challenges, look into the consequence. So, what it can cause to your health. Because I'm very sure I've been looking into all these things. It will give you a rethink that should you continue smoking. Or should you quit smoking? It will definitely give you a rethink of what you are doing. Whether what you are doing is right or what you are doing is wrong. But if you don't know the implication, the consequence of what you are doing. So you may be thinking what you are doing is right. Whereas what you are doing is wrong. Whereas what you are doing is completely wrong. And this has really cut the lifespan of so many smokers and they don't know and it is boldly written in any pack of the cigarette that you buy that smoking causes lung cancer you can see smoking causes lung cancer it is written on the pack of the cigarette that I'm holding now Let me see my
Let me see my camera. Okay. So. So you can see the problem you are causing for yourself and also to your heads. So this is the reason why you need to think twice about whether you should continue smoking or you should completely quit smoking because if you cause any health challenges to yourself, so the least the family can do is to take care of you and if, it, if they care beyond their control there is nothing they can do because you cause it by yourself so now we are going to be looking into some we are going to be looking into some strategies you can use to quit smoking we are going to be looking into some strategies you can use to quit smoking and uh, how best this can work for you so the first thing is that uh, you should avoid trigger so sometimes you, you feel like uh, smoking and uh, you need to identify what triggers your smoking habits is it when you are among people who are smoking is it when you are with your colleagues or with your guys or maybe you are in a club or you are in a particular environment or because you you mingle and you 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 you, you relate with smokers so if it is those things that cause your smoking and smoking a problem you should do everything possible to make sure you can even cut down friends smokers friend those who are smoking can cut those friends for you for you for a while until you get yourself up. So you can even use uh, some places or area where smoking is not permitted. You can use those areas. You can go to those places where smoking is not permitted. Where smoking is not allowed. So doing that will help you a lot. To cut down the problem of smoking, to reduce your habit of smoking, and also to put you into order. So these are some of the things that you need to look into. So by the time you check your habit, you check your attitude, and identify what is causing the problem, so it, you, are, you are already closer. You are closer to the to the solution. You are closer to the solution. And doing that will help you a lot to put a stop to your smoking problem. So we are going to look into another thing. Another thing, another method you can use is what we call delay. It's what we call delay. So let me see if I can jot it down. Another method is what we call delay. So let me take my pen. Right. Don't mind my handwriting. So delay. So this one, how does it work? So when you have a hodge for smoking, assuming now you have a hodge for smoking. So the best thing to do, make sure you don't have cigarettes at all. You don't have it in your car. You don't have it in the office. Those are the best method. So, if you don't have it in any area where you can be tempted, 
could go into smoking and stand smoking. So once you don't have it in those areas, it is easier for you to to delay the, the temptation, to delay the trigger. So to delay, if you if you have the feelings for smoking, you can just say, okay, I will delay it for the next ten minutes. I will not smoke until the next ten minutes. Once you do that, you now try to engage yourself in some other things. That will cause distraction. That will help you forget the feeling, and that is what we call delay. So, and uh, another better method is to engage you. you need to engage. You need to engage. In physical activities, engage in physical activities. So any form of physical activity, you should engage in it. Anything that can take your time, that can help you to forget the feeling of smoking. So you need to engage in it. Once you do that, it's going to help you. It's really going to assist you to quit your smoking habits. And help you forget any form of temptation, any form of feelings that drag you into smoking. So that's another method. So you can go into playing table tennis, you can go into playing football, you can go into swimming, you can leave that environment where they are smoking. You can leave the environment. Change environment where smoking is not allowed. So there are a lot of things that you can do. So you can just take your mind off that smoking. Yes. Take your mind off it. Another method is to apply relaxation. So apply relaxation. Relax. Relax your body. Relax your mind so i hope i'm okay so you relax your body you relax your mind and uh, engage in some other things apart from smoking yes you can engage yourself in reading and engage yourself in watching movie you can go to cinema and just do everything possible to forget about it so and do relaxation can sleep, can just go into meditation, think about some positive things that can help you to forget your your past. Think about your dream, your goals, your positive ambitions, something good, something better, something powerful, something interesting and exciting. So you start thinking about those things, and before you know, it can quickly help you to forget your smoking. So another thing you can do is to record the benefits of quitting smoking. Is to record the benefit of quitting smoking. This is going to really help you a lot. It's going to help you a lot because you think. When you think about it, now tell yourself, you are doing what is the the consequence of smoking? What health hazard will you put into your life? How would you look when you are smoking? What if you develop lung cancer? What if you develop heart failure? You start thinking about those things. You look into how you are going to feel to eventually quit smoking. You no, know, if you look into the positive side of something, so you now look into okay, what are the dangers associated with smoking? So when you look into the danger, you look into the benefits of quitting. You now discover that quitting is more better for you now than smoking because 
all those bad things as you there with smoking, the consequences, the health consequences, the way you look in the society, the way people look at you, the way they see you as somebody who is irresponsible, somebody who doesn't care about his health. So it will not give you a rethink. It will not give you a rethink. It will help you to it will help you to have a second thought. Okay. If you are, if you stop, if you quit smoking, now it can help you to live a healthier life. It can help you to feel more better than the way you are when you are a smoker. It can help you to to save a lot of money. Where the money you are spending on cigarettes on a daily basis, ten packs of cigarettes, five packs of cigarettes. If you calculate the money, you put it aside somewhere. Before you know, in few months, one year, you know how much you have saved. Which can really help you to do some better things aside from uh, smoking. You are wasting money, you are endangering your health. So, what is not the essence? What is the essence of smoking? So, you are even contributing to, to you, are, you, are, you are contributing to the hair pollution. Yes. You, you are spoiling in your hair. You are. You are Putting other people into risk just by perceiving the, the, the smell and the odor of your smoke. You turn them to a secondhand smoker. Your family, your loved ones, you put their lives into risk. So, some of these things, you will look into the, the health benefit of quitting. You now see that it's more more better for you to quit than to remain a smoker. Yes. If you look at the benefits, the benefits supersede the danger. And that is the reason why the best thing that you can do for yourself is to completely quit smoking and forget about it for the rest of your life. If you can do that, the better. The earlier, the better. The earlier, the better. So that is why sometimes. You, you look into two sides of the coin. You weigh the benefits. You compare it with the the, 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 the dangers. And you, you now choose what do you want and uh, what is good for you. You choose what is good for you and forget about what puts you into danger. You forget about what puts you into trouble. And that is the reason why you need to look into the, the, the best way to forget about it and apply some of the strategies I've given in this video. So if you like this video, if you love it, if you love the content, if you love the vibe, if you love the energy, so I advise you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, click the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, like my video, give us a thumb up, and whenever we create a new video, you are going to get the benefits. If you are, if you are interested in my ebook on how to quit smoking. If you are interested in getting that book, so you can chat me up. Chat me up in my video. Or I will drop a link to my WhatsApp. They can contact me and get my guide on how to quit smoking. So, thank you so much. God bless you.